Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss A. Marie, and I am back with my first type of techie video. I recently got a new software, a inexpensive one that's pretty good, and I want to help all small YouTubers out there. So, I will be doing a series of tech videos, and the first one is how to make an end card. So, if you want to see how I make an end card, then just follow along. Alright, so, the easiest place to make an end card is pickmonkey.com so here I'm just showing you you can make your own custom size I would suggest 1280 by 720 or take something a picture you found online like I'm going to do and then you're going to go to the first button which is the basic edits and you're going to resize and we're going to resize this to set seven <laughs> we're gonna resize this to 1280 by 720 because that is the resolution size for YouTube all right after we hit apply we are going to then just do whatever we want at this point this part is completely um, up to you the way I do text is I obviously go to the text button and you can use their own text I'm just going to show you that if it has a crown on it it is um, premium or royal and you have to buy the premium pick monkey <laughs> so I don't have it right now I'm thinking about getting it but I'm just letting you guys know if it has a crown next to the text you cannot use it unless you pay for it and I think it's around five bucks a month it's very in inexpensive I'll, and I'll take the real price I'm going to my text and I'm using Alex brush that has been the text I've used a lot lately that is the text on my blog if you're wondering so Alex brush so just adjust the text to how big you want I think I use 144 and then you just drag it out so it fits the whole screen I like to use bold for like everything so if you want to use bold if you want to italicize it go ahead you can use any color you want the color I decided to use was white and I'm gonna show you how I make the color pop a little bit you can do this with any color I don't know if it works with dark colors but um, I'm just showing you how to make a quick shadow to help the text stand out so we're just gonna go back to black we're going to duplicate the text and what you do is you click off of the text and then right click and go down to duplicate text you can't have the text highlighted then try to right click because it doesn't come up you have to click off of the text and then right click it so then pick the color you want and I'm picking white move it on top of the black text and leave enough room to create a shadow so you just have to play with it until you have as much shadow as you want. Once you're done with all your text, you can go ahead and combine the images together with that button <laughs> in the top right corner. I'm just showing you how you can undo it so you can still move your text around, but just hit that same button again and it will combine everything together because once you have a lot of stuff it's easy to accidentally click something and move it so you wanna every once in a while when you know that you're completely comfortable with something just combine it all down this is just a quick tip for those that like to put multiple videos on your end card I see a lot of people make a rectangle of course don't use a square and they fade it so it's not as opaque and they just put them anywhere they want to put a video I don't do this just in case I make the rectangle too big and then it's in the background so if you're putting multiple videos on your end card doing that might help you stay organized a little bit so for my social media like buttons I'm just taking the rounded quarter rectangles and pu pulling it out as far as I want it to go and then I'm just gonna duplicate it the same way you duplicate text Alright, next we're going to add our icons for our social media and all you have to do is Google 
whatever social media so Instagram logo PNG make sure you put PNG that's the best way to find them all transparent and still check and make sure they're transparent so I went ahead and did all my social media and of course I did YouTube subscribe button PNG so if you want a video on that it's very very simple just type that into Google images if you want a video on that I can do that as well and after that just type out your text this is not the text I used for my final end card because you can see this text didn't have numbers or symbols but I'm just quickly trying to finish up so just add that in for your buttons once you're done hit save type in the name of your project the quality you want and save it to anywhere you want to All right, the most important part, how to create your end card in Filmora. So all my videos are going to be in Filmora because it's super inexpensive and it's pretty good. So open up Filmora, do widescreen, and I always use full feature mode. So you want to open up your end card and you want to open up a clip of your last video because I'm using my previous video. You want to make like a 10 second clip. You shouldn't really have it any longer than 10 seconds. But I didn't make a clip so I'm just going to use the beginning of my last video. So what you want to do is take your picture and drag it down to the track that your footage actually goes on. And then you want to edit it for 10 seconds because that's how long I'm making my end card. After that, take your actual video and drag it down to where you usually put your picture. And it's going to go on top of your end card picture. And when you do that, you're able to change the size of your video. If, if you put it the other way around, put the footage on the footage track and the picture on the picture track, then you're going to be able to change the size of the picture. So change the size of your video and place it where you want to put it and that's it. You can add music and then save it so you have a version of it with just the end card and the music so you can just add different video clips in there. So if you want to add this to the end of the video you're going to have to export it and then add it just to the end of any video and you're done. What I'm doing right here is just splitting the video to 10 seconds so it ends at 10 seconds. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my first tech video. If there's any other things you want to see with Filmora, definitely leave them down below because for right now all my editing videos are going to be through Filmora. And if you want to hear more about Filmora, I can do a video on that also. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys all later. It's Bye. your girl Ashley and I am here with my drugstore beauty favorites. So if you want to see all the products that I love from the drugstore, 